Crofts Cooking with Coles. Uh, on today's episode, I'll show you uh, cooking a pizza on the barbecue. Um, so uh, first of all, I'll show you how I make my dough, and then I'll show you um, what ingredients I like to put on my pizza and uh, how, we, how we then cook it on the barbecue. So we do have a, a special fire box. This is some uh, attachment that goes on top of the barbecue um, and it helps the heat uh, conduct onto the top of the pizza uh, because the problem when you cook a pizza on the barbecue is you tend to cook the base first but no, don't necessarily cook the top. So that's where the firebox comes into play. It, put, it conducts the heat over onto the top of the pizza, um, uh, getting a nice even cook um, for both bottom uh, of the base of the pizza and also on the top as well. So if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do, um, and then you'll be uh, notified of my upcoming videos. Um, also, there's a link in the description field of the video um, with an, a link to sign up to our newsletter. And in there, if you sign up to the newsletter, you'll get uh, uh, to receive the infographics detailing this whole video um, in a one page summary. Okay, so uh, let's get those calls going and let's get going. With, we'll start with um, a half cup of warm tepid water. You don't want it too cold um, and you don't want it too hot. If it's too hot it will kill the yeast. If it's too cold it's not going to help the yeast grow quickly. So uh, I've got uh, yeast here and I'll be going for one uh, tablespoon of yeast or, or just shy of that. And then I'll also be putting in here about a tablespoon of castor sugar as well. Okay, and then I'm just going to mix that up. So we just want this to sit for a little while because we want the, the yeast to activate. Um, and grow a little bit. Um, so you'll know it's ready. It'll take about five or six minutes or so and you'll, you'll see it starting to bubble up at the top there and that's what we're looking for in terms of the yeast um, starting to grow. While that's happening um, I'll just show you the, the, the dry ingredients. So uh, in here we've got two cups of um, just regular bread flour. So you could do this all by hand, but you know, if we've got the kitchen aid, uh, we'll make life easy for ourselves. So there we go. We've got two cups of uh, regular flour, bread flour, and then I'm going to put in there um, about a tables, uh, two teaspoons of salt in there. I want to put the yeast uh, in the liquid stuff because that will kill the yeast, but it's okay to put it here in the dry uh, while that's getting ready. Okay. Um, and then, yeah, we can also put olive oil into the wet ingredient here as well. Little spoons of olive oil in here. So we'll just give the dry stuff a little bit of a mix. So mainly we're waiting there for the ye yeast to be activated. So we'll give that five minutes and then we'll pour that in here with, into the dry stuff. Um, and we'll mix it for five minutes on KitchenAid level three. And, uh, and, and the attachment here is the bread attachment, which is just the, the single lever. Um, and we'll leave that mixing for five minutes after we combine the ingredients there. Uh, and then we'll just give it a little bit of a, a manual uh, uh, knead uh, before we form the shape of the pizzas. And then uh, I'll show you the toppings that I put in. Okay of the well and then I'm going to add a little bit more warm water in there. Just another half cup to begin with. I can always add more water to it later on. So I'll just put in half cup in there. Then I'm just going to leave this to mix for about five minutes. <laughs> I'm just going to give that a little bit of a rinse out and put some olive oil in there and then I'm going to put that in here to sit for about an hour with a, with a warm damp cloth on there and a bit more olive oil just to coat it. And uh, yeah, waiting until it double in sizes and then we're, we're good to use them as bases. Okay. 
Okay, so uh, now I've just got the coals going uh, uh, in the background there, and uh, what I'm going to do now is just going to mold the pizza uh, into into shape. So uh, the pizza dough has been uh, resting there for about an hour uh, in a sort of warm environment, uh, trying to get it uh, to double in size. And then I've got a bit of flour here that I'm adding on here just to, it's a bit uh, wet and sticky, so it's just going to help me to get that out. Um, and I've got a chopping board here with flour on it already. So I'm just going to give that a little bit more flour on there, just, just like so. And then I'll be probably making just two pizzas from this. And uh, yeah, so I'll just chop this in half and then we'll use that for the dough. Okay. So we want it nice and thin so it cooks nice and quickly in the barbecue. Okay, right, once you're happy, so I've got a uh, tomato sauce here, um, I've got a three cheese mix here, uh, a bit of mushrooms and pesto and Italian salami. I also like to use this uh, laughing cow cheese in here as well. I find it adds a nice uh, taste and consistency into the, the pizza, having that soft cheese in there as well. So yeah, I'm just going to start off with uh, applying the sauce first of all. And I like to go all the way to the edge, or just about to the edge. Okay, and then I take the cheese, the soft cheese, and I just put little bits scattered throughout the whole pizza, like this. Okay, then next I put my pesto. And then I'm just, yeah, putting little drops of pesto sort of in between those holes of the cheeses. Then next I put some mushrooms on and then some salami. If you want to keep it vegetarian, obviously, you know, you could easily not add that on there. And then the, the cheese combo. So it's mozzarella, I think, in there, cheddar and parmesan. So it's a nice combination. Once you're happy with the amount of cheese there, then I'm just going to finish it with salt, pepper, and oregano. And that's going to then go onto the other chopping board. Um, so hopefully I can get it to slide off quite, quite nicely. So I'm put a bit of flour on that other chopping board as well. Uh, yes, yeah, so salt, pepper, and oregano just to finish. In terms of the coals, so I'm using the briquettes here and I've just made them evenly uh, spread out across the barbecue uh, so we're aiming to try and get a nice even cook um, and even heat spread out throughout the whole barbecue 
So just wanting to show you the pizza oven here. So this is called a firebox, this brand, and you can see here um, it's sitting on top of the grill uh, over the coals, and the coals are the briquettes today. Um, and then there's a temperature gauge there, so it's just about in the ideal temperature zone. In which case then I'll uh, very soon be putting in my pizza on top of the stone there and uh, yeah just it's a bit tricky to get that pizza in there but once it's in there it's not going to take very long to cook probably just about four minutes or so. Uh, so yeah here we go. Um, 